Let's check out a new guitar from PRS today. Shall we? Interesting. Here we have a brand spanking new Miles Kennedy signature guitar from Paul Reed Smith. Not an SE, they do not, uh, to my knowledge, they do not yet have an SE version of this guitar yet. This is a real legitimate USA made Paul Reed Smith guitar. Apparently it ships in a very, very nice uh, backpack style gig bag and comes with your uh, assorted usual uh, hang tag tools, uh, hang tags and uh, truss rod tools and all that kind of stuff. Now before we go any further, I want to let you know this is not a sponsored video. No way, as in any way, shape, or form, is this a sponsored video? PR, Paul Reed Smith does not have anything to do with it. They did not send me this guitar. This guitar was loaned to me by a friend of mine. This guitar was paid for by said friend of mine with his own money. Again, no endorsements or anything like that. All opinions that you're going to hear on this guitar are mine and mine alone. Now, first things first, I find this uh, actually very interesting and, quite frankly, long overdue. Because regardless if he's playing with Slash, if he's playing with Alter Bridge, Every band that Miles Kennedy is in, he gets a ton of you know, all the credit in the world for being a great front man and a great singer, and he absolutely is those things. And for every band that he is in, whether he's playing with Slash or Alter Bridge or whatever it is, he gets almost no credit for being the, the, uh, the absolute great guitar player that he actually is. Uh, and you know, so it's finally about time to see, uh, you know, to see a big guitar company like Paul Reed Smith make a signature guitar for him. Uh, because there's still a lot of people out there that don't realize just how great of a guitar player that Miles Kennedy actually is. For the record, I did a video a few years ago on underrated guitar players, and Miles Kennedy was, Miles Kennedy was absolutely on that list. A couple things right out of the box ships in a gig bag as opposed to a hard shell case, which does a couple of things. Number one, it keeps the cost down for you, the consumer, and number two, uh, it helps Miles sell a few more guitars and uh, put a few extra bucks in his pocket, which I am all in favor of because, as we've talked about before on this channel, it is a very, very tough business out there. And uh, in order for artists to put out signature gear that make things a little bit more accessible, uh, especially high-quality made-in-the-USA made in signature gear that make things a little bit more accessible to consumers, again, that's only a good thing for everybody involved. Uh, now this thing has not yet been set up out of the box and I can tell by the action it's going to need a little bit, uh, nothing too major. The neck does feel, you know, feel very, very, uh, very smooth and slick and playable. Uh, it's surprisingly fat though. I mean, not quite Gibson 50 style, but definitely fatter than a Gibson 60 style. So somewhere, somewhere between the two. So I'm going to make a couple of adjustments on the guitar, then we're going to plug it in and listen to the pickups and uh, see what they're about. And... Talk more, talk more about it after that.
not a real big advocate for tele body styles, which obviously is the direction that this guitar is leaning in. However, I don't particularly hate them either. They're just not necessarily my favorite. You know, and I mention that because, let's face it, guitar players shop with their eyes first. Uh, you know, had I been looking for this guitar, you know, on my own, I probably would have passed it up just because of the body shape, you know. Uh, fortunately, I had a, uh, a friend of mine who just bought this one and insisted on me doing a video on this thing on my channel, which is, as I mentioned, that's how this thing got here. Uh, and I'm glad I tried it. This is an excellent instrument. I really, really like the pickups on this guitar. PRS has them, uh, you know, they're calling them the Narrow Field MK. So I'm assuming the MK stands for Miles Kennedy. Uh, so I'm assuming that these are a special version of the Narrow Field pickups that they developed. Uh, specifically for Miles Kennedy and this guitar. I don't have, I don't know much more about them. You know, their PRS generally doesn't do high output pickups. You know, that's 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 not their jam. Uh, you know, they they you know Paul Paul is a big big proponent of the tone of the guitar coming from the sum of the parts rather than just you know rather than the parts, right? Uh, so for that matter, you know, for that reason, he has always believed in, you know, lower, lower to moderate output pickups, uh, to, you know, because that's how the guitar tone operates as a whole. Uh, whereas a lot of high, high powered, high output pickups, you know, that in those guitars, and that is what I prefer in most cases, that tends to be where a lot of the tone comes from. You guys can say what you want about the full track that you saw at the beginning of this video. I thought that I was getting some killer tones out of this thing uh, when I was recording that. I really, really enjoy the sound of this guitar. Very, very much so. Uh, the really the only other it's not really a complaint against just a personal preference. I'm not a, I'm not real big on the vintage Tele uh, style saddles there. You know, uh, I you know I don't care too much for those. I find those to be a you know a, really a huge pain in the ass to intonate. These are probably a little bit better. You know, it looks like it's a little bit more of a updated modern design on uh, uh, on a you know modern twist on our old classic design. So I'm sure these are a lot better. Still, you know, probably not my preference. Regardless, if you like the neck profile on this thing, that's the big. I think that's the big thing and the biggest thing that I noticed. Uh, you know, again, it is a little bit fat. Maybe not Gibson '50s baseball bat fat. It's not that big, you know. But it's think about it like a little bit larger uh, version of like a fat strat. You know, like a, a Fender D neck or something like that on it. That's probably a little bit closer to what it feels like. If you like the neck profile on it, there is a lot to like about this guitar plays great uh it sounds excellent you know you're getting you know they they cut cost in the right areas you know they made it a, it's a bolt-on neck guitar uh as opposed to you know the set neck uh stuff that most of their core model guitars are you know that, they're, they're you're getting those are the four thousand dollar guitars from paul reed smith you know but again still getting an american made signature guitar with a you know very good quality gig bag uh and a workhorse of an instrument 28.99 by today's standards, that is really, really good. Really, really good, uh, and it's PRS. I mean, you know you're getting a quality, very well-built quality instrument with Paul Reed Smith. This is absolutely as nice as any other production, American-made production model guitar on the market today. Absolutely every bit as nice, if not more so. And I, and I say that because I really, really like the way that this thing sounds. So, link down in the description. Adios.